Hey everybody, it's me, Carlo, and today we're going to look at Sonable Smart Comp on vocals. Now, I've got an indie rock band here, and the vocals are great. They're kind of just subdued and relaxed and, and very cool. And um, we're going to add some Smart Comp to it because we want to really tuck these in the mix just right. So what I did is I inserted Smart Comp here as my first insert on my lead vocals. Here's Let's take a listen to the vocals without Smart Comp. I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. That's the way that I'd live. You said hello, you said excuse me and then goodbye. You had nothing left to give. All right, so let's take a listen what we can do with Smart Comp. Now Smart Comp, it has built into it a certain uh, AI, which is really great because it's able to look and analyze genres of audio for example they're called profiles right here you see it's the standard but from the arrow we could come down and choose vocals male now it's going to put smart comp in a mode that's going to listen for male vocal quality to it and it's going to create a profile settings for us to get started with working with so i'm just going to leave it on male vocal i'm going to activate it press play back here uh, and it's going to listen and give us some settings to uh, to get started with I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. That's the way that I'd live. You said hello, you said excuse me and then goodbye. You had nothing left to give. So automatically, you can hear how it's riding the vocals for us. Here you can see it with this graphical display, the yellow up top. Take a listen to that again. I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. So here is the top where we have our threshold set. It set it at minus 31 for us. Now this is automatic. We can change this as much as we want. Our ratio is two to one, uh, relatively quick attack, 77 milliseconds, medium, and 175 millisecond release. All right, now let's have a little bit of fun here. I want to do some, I want to really bring this down. I'm gonna do a little bit of three to four. And this is our knee, how it's going to be kicked in or how soft it's gonna be kicked in. Everybody see that? And I'm going to lower the threshold somewhat. Let's take a listen. I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. That's the way that I'd live. You said hello, you said excuse me and then goodbye. So here's without. I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. And here's with. I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. So it's riding That's it ever so slightly. But you'll that notice. I'd that we have spectral compression engaged here. Now what this feature is going to do is it's gonna activate something in the plugin that looks ahead. It's a multi-band frequency analyzing compressor magical thing. And it's going to prevent the audio from giving you ear fatigue. It's, it's uh, supposed to make things more transparent. Now I've had a lot of good luck with this. And all you do is activate it on and it gives you a highlighted bands down here below relative to how what level of effect it's giving you. And of course you can adjust more or less with the sensitivity slider. Let me raise that a little bit and take a look down here at the bottom graph. I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. That's the way that I'd live. So you can see the brightness of these bands where it's relative to where the points are being reduced more. Now because those are being reduced more, we don't wanna add any um, audible compression effects, it's maintaining transparency. And I gotta tell you, I've used this on a lot of different sources and it really does work. It helps to use headphones if you're listening to this video, especially, uh, you know, just for referencing. But adjusting the sensitivity and just activating the spectral compression on and off will give you an idea of what that sounds like. And it also has an auto gain feature here, which is great. I can deactivate it and it won't apply any automatic gain leveling for me. Now this is actually a feature that I use quite a bit with like bass guitar and snares and a lot of drums, but even sometimes on vocals. Let's listen to without it. I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. Let's activate it. That's the way that I'd live. You said hello, you said excuse me and then goodbye. You had nothing left to give. There. And it also includes a now limiter, and then I a, soft, remember when a soft clipping limiter right there. Now, why don't we copy these settings to A, and let's switch to B here. 
and let's reset everything. I just pressed the reset button. And what we can do now is begin adjusting our own settings here. Let's say I want a little bit more of a ratio. Uh, I'm gonna come in pretty long here and go out pretty quickly. Now, if I open this up here, you can see we can adjust the slope of the attack, how the audio comes in. And the graphical user interface here is really creative. It's kind of intuitive. Do you want a longer release time or a shorter release time? I'll do a little bit long right about there. And you can also do the same with the hold. So you have hold, release, attack, and even the shape of, of it. It's kind of like a knee for the attack right here. Okay. Let's hear our settings right here. I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. Here's our A settings. I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. Let's go back to the B. I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. And you'll notice it's overlaying the A, B in comparison so we can have a visual right here at the bottom of what the two of them look like. Mostly based on the different threshold settings that I set there and a little bit of the ratio and attack time. Now, utilizing um, spectral compression like this from Smart Comp has a, opens up a whole lot of new possibilities. For example, like even when you're mastering and wants them transparent. Now, with the word transparent, it's, it's interesting. You don't want to hear the audible, audible effects in this case uh, of compression, unless you're doing some pumping for some uh, EDM music or something. But in this case, if you want to remove the element of the, the uh, compression, that you could hear and just keep things transparent while getting the benefits of automatically writing the dynamics of your vocal in this case, well, then activating spectral compression and finding the right balance with the sensitivity is going to be key. Now, all genres of music are going to be different. This is indie rock and roll. Let's bring in some guitars here. And how about our bass drum? Actually, our bass guitar. And let's take a listen. I used to think I used to drink and I used to cry. That's the way that I'd live You said hello, you said excuse me and then goodbye You had nothing left to give Now and then I remember when but it's all behind I guess that you're doing well Here's without Now maybe I'll just have to say what's on my mind How I felt there in that last part, you could see how the vocals became too dynamic without the compressor. So a compressor is doing its job. It's writing the vocals for us while also maintaining that transparency here with the spectral compression button. The best way I always say is to find out for yourself. Smart Comp is super creative. I've been using it for a few months now myself and it's opened up a lot of possibilities. It sounds great on different kinds of instruments like piano, I've used it on guitar, I've used it on drums all the time. But the best way again is to find out for yourself. My name's Carlo, this is Sonable Smart Comp here. And uh, find out for yourself by downloading a copy or visiting sonable.com and checking it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.